All right, guys, taking a quick request from the chat. We are live on Instagram. I'm going to be filling a cup with liquid, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. Delete your cube. You're not going to need that. Not going to need your light. Add in a cylinder. We're just going to make a quick cup here. Tab into edit mode. Grab that top face. We're going to go ahead and inset that top face just a couple of times here. We're not going to make a very crazy cup here, but we are going to go ahead and move this with G on the Z axis. We're just going to move that down. Go into your x-ray mode and just move it down to the bottom. Maybe scale it up a little bit. That looks perfect. And there you go. We have a cup. I'm just going to add a edge split modifier and a subdiv to that. Make that nice and smooth. Shade it smooth. It's looking fantastic. And there is your cup. Let's go ahead and fill the cup with water. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and just apply these um, modifiers so we have a nice uh, smooth geometry here. Everything looks pretty good. We can work with that. Let's go ahead and add in a, where is it? Add, oh, I don't have it enabled. Go to your preferences and enable, um, I believe it's quick effects. Hold on. Why is it not on there? Oh, we got to add our cube first. I'm sorry, guys. Add in a cube, scale that up. Object, quick effects, quick liquid. And now just like that, we already have our liquid simulation and it's looking really good. So how do we actually make this thing flow into our cup? Well, first of all, let's go back to frame zero. Let's set up our cache folder. So in our domain settings on the right hand side here, guys, for those of you on the chat, I'm sorry, I can't show both at once. Uh, you're gonna wanna scroll down to where it says cache uh, and you're gonna wanna select a new folder. I'm just gonna go to my desktop and make a new folder and call it blah, 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 like that and just go into that folder. We'll do frame zero to 100, and then we're gonna click on all instead of replay. And then we're gonna go ahead and bake all, and let's go ahead and watch this bake. Now, as you guys can see, we've now rebaked our simulation. Everything's working fine. Click on free all, which is gonna free our simulation up, and then move our cup down. And then this shape right here, this middle cube, is actually what the fluid is coming from. So I'm gonna scale that down so that it's smaller than like di the diameter of the cup. I'm gonna move it right above the cup and I'm gonna scale down our domain because we do not need it to be that big. That should be perfect. Um, you guys can scale it down even less if you want. Again, the smaller the domain, the less Blender is gonna to try to calculate. Go ahead and click on this object here. Now this right now is just a liquid geometry, which means it's gonna fall down and it's gonna just basically be like this cube of liquid, but we want it to flow. So instead of geometry, you're gonna to wanna to choose um, inflow, which is basically going to make this thing flow like water. So now if we click on bake, you're going to notice after it bakes that now it's flowing like a faucet, right? So this is fantastic. This is exactly what we want. Now we have to do two things. One, we're going to have to convert this to a mesh so we can actually see what this liquid looks like. And we're also going to have to make our cup uh, a, a fluid object. So, or sorry, a fluid effector. So first of all, click on your cup, add a fluid uh, modifier or fluid um, physics and then click on effector, and then we're gonna keep that for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and rebake and just see what we get. Now we're gonna have to mess with the settings to get this to interact with the cup properly. So let's go ahead and see what we get. As you can see, it is not interacting with our cup. And I believe the reason is the actual surface thickness. So I'm gonna set our surface thickness to 0.1, and then we're gonna go ahead and rebake again. Now we are baking at 32 resolution, which is very low. Okay, it is definitely interacting with the cup now. It's just not interacting in the correct way. Oops. Make sure you keep x-ray mode turned on when you're doing this as well. Um, surface thickness, let's let's choose one. It should be working. Let me just double check some settings here. We might have to raise our resolution. Let me go ahead and do 60 for the resolution. And then I'm also going to just do 50 frames for now because it'll bake a lot quicker. As you guys can see, when you do bake, it is at the bottom, this little timeline is gonna be scrubbed. All right, there we go. So one of the issues, so some of the issues you're going to run into when you're filling up a cup or an object with liquid, one is your surface thickness of your object. So right now we have it set to one. That seems to be working pretty good. If you go to your side view, you'll notice it's not perfect. It's not perfectly lining up with the bottom. However, you can adjust this value as needed. Um, point like you know, 0.9 might be perfect. Again, it's totally gonna depend on the geometry. And then the second factor is gonna be the actual resolution of your domain. Right now we're at 60. Let's go ahead and click on free all. And then there's this little check mark that says mesh. We're gonna go ahead and click on mesh. 
and we're gonna go ahead and click on bake all. Now what it's gonna do now is it's going to simulate the phys uh, physics simulation and then it's gonna convert it to mesh so that we can actually see what this looks like. So if you go to solid view, you'll actually be able to see this thing filling up with water now. Here, let's go ahead and play this back. And there you go, that is how you fill something with water. Now right now we're only rendering to frame 50, but I'll just show you guys quickly how to add some materials, set up a camera shot, um, and we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and give this 1080 by 1920. Oops, not 108, 1080 by 1920. I'm just gonna tilt my camera down, bring it up so we can like really see what's going on here. I'm gonna kind of zoom in on our scene here. I'm just gonna add a quick floor plane in, scale that up, bring it below our cup. That's fine. Go to cycles, GPU, set up our environment texture. Go ahead and open up just any environment texture that you want. That's fine. I'm just gonna make the floor just a darker color so we can see what's going on. The cup, of course, we're gonna make that a glass material uh, with a low roughness and that's starting to look really good. And then for the actual liquid, I'll just, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna give it the slightest blue tint so you can really, really see it. That looks good. And then we're gonna hide that original cube, which is our actual flow source from the render. And just like that, you have a fluid sim. So like I said, guys, here's the inflow right here. We have the inflow into the cup, and then you can see that our water is indeed filling up our cup. It looks really good. You guys can, again, apply any materials you want to this. You don't even have to use glass. Um, you can use like a nice metallic shader, right? You can use pretty much whatever you want, and you don't have to even have a floor plane. You can hide that as well if you don't want to. Uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Make sure you shade your, uh, your liquid smooth. Now remember, the higher the value is for your liquid, uh, the better it's gonna look. So right now we're at, what, what are we at? Um, believe, why isn't it telling me? I forget, I think, I think we're at like 64. For whatever reason, it's not showing me the settings for the domain. There it is, we're at 60. So you could render this at a higher res and it would look better. You could add a subdiv surface to this to make it look even better. But for now, like I'm pretty happy with the result. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back to, I believe it was this, yep. And it's looking really good. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. I think it came out fantastic. Um, yeah, this is awesome. And if you guys really wanted to, you could get like more of a, a lower down view like this to get your physics sim captured. This looks awesome. Cool, and that's it guys, that is how you make a a fluid simulation that fills a cup. I'm not gonna go into render settings too much or anything like that, but as you can see, we do have our cup and we have our liquid filling our cup. And if it's harder to see, you can of course like change your settings on your liquid. You can make it, you know, it's more saturated, this or that. You don't have to, but I'm just showing you guys like the options that you have. There you go, there's orange juice right there. Boom, and it looks really good. Um, you don't have to raise your subdivisions more if, or as your actual resolution if you don't want to, but again, I'm just trying to show you guys kind of how to how to fill this cup with liquid. That is how you do it. Um, it works, it should work with any object. There should be no issues that you guys run into. Um, honestly, Flip Fluids is better than, than Blender's built-in simulator, but this is, this is looking pretty good here. This is actually a nice angle right here. I think I might move my camera to this other angle, which I believe was like, I think over here, yep. And I'm just gonna move myself back. That looks awesome. That's a good angle, because the light is really coming through nicely for us here. And just move your floor up a little bit too. So it's right below the cup. Now if you wanted to, you could give the cup a little bit more dimension. You can give it a bevel at the top, whatever you want. But at this point, that pretty much concludes the tutorial. We have our fluid coming down from the top. It fills the cup. If you wanted to continue filling the cup, um, you just let it let the simulation run for longer. And then of course, if you want the fluid flow to stop, I should probably cover this real quick, sorry guys. If you want it to stop at some point, you can actually do that. So right now, we just gotta go back and select our original cube, the cube that is actually emitting the, um, the fluid. Now, right here, it's gonna say use flow on the side. We can actually keyframe that. So I'm gonna go ahead, excuse me, and unbake. I'm gonna go to my um, x-ray mode click on that cube, and then at about frame 40, I'm gonna go hover over use flow and, and hit I, which is gonna insert a keyframe, go forward one more frame, uncheck it, and then insert a new keyframe. So now, if we go ahead and click on bake, this should stop at frame 40, and we're gonna double check it 
by going through each frame. Now about, at about frame 40, it will just completely stop flowing as if you've turned the faucet off. And as we can see, it did. So again, guys, it's flowing all the way up until frame 40. And then right here on frame 41, you're gonna see it begins to fall down. And that is because it stops flowing. Now we're only baking out to frame 50, so you're not gonna see anything after frame 50. If you guys wanted to, you could, you could uh, continue to bake that out. But at this point, I'm very, very happy with what we have. I think it looks fantastic. Um, and again, you can raise that resolution as high as you want. And that is the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for the suggestion in the chat. If you guys have other suggestions for what you want to see in a tutorial, let me know and I will cover it. All right, guys, have a great day.